The New Britain Board of Education, providing students with a high quality education. The time is now 6.03. We're going to call the meeting to order. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ms. Munis, if you will see us. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay. Mr. Kanata, if you would please call the roll. Ms. Cheney? Here. Mr. Gay? Here. Mr. Mercier? Here. Ms. Muniz? Here. Ms. Parker? Here. Ms. Nancy Rodriguez? Here. Ms. Gail Sanders Connolly? Here. Mr. Sanders? Ms. Sims? Here. Ms. Nicole Rodriguez? Here. We could take a moment of meditation and if we would please keep in mind the Negron family and their loss. Thank you. Mr. Khan, is there anyone signed up for public participation? No. Okay. Is there anyone who would like to address the board? Anyone who would like to address the board? Last and final time, anyone who would like to address the board? Thank you. Public participation is now closed. We will now move to the superintendent's report. Oh, way too fast. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um. You got it? Yep, I got it. Thank you. Um, just a, um, I'm going to go first to operations, even though it's on the second page, but that seems to be where we need to really focus. Um, we're going to take a look at class sizes and section sizes in a little bit. Mr. Prokop has those ready for us, but we are still looking at those weekly, uh, making adjustments as needed. Um, in terms of our transportation update, it was a smooth week last week uh, with transportation. Uh, we do have on screen and my bus stop on screen are those screens uh, the screens are in they have not been installed yet but that is um, so we can see ETA um, and, and it's a GPS basically for the school secretary and the building administrator so they can see where the bus is and a similar for the parents it's called my bus stop and it's an app where the parents can um, have, they have a GPS and they can actually locate where their um, child is on the bus and they'll know they'll give them a I think it's a 30 second delay um, but it basically is uh, your child's three minutes out, six minutes out from the bus stop. I'll be sure to let you know when that goes. Yeah, and so, but it's, um, we're doing the training, the training for uh, the transportation department and MIS is not gonna be until September 25th. Mm -hmm. And even if the screens aren't installed in the buildings, this extra screen, they are able to access it from their computer right there. So anyway, I'll keep you updated on that. Um, students and physicals, and I, I, oh, actually, Matt, you took that out. I was leaving it in. What was it as of that 831? Oh, sorry, That's okay. No, um, yeah, just so you could see, I mean, we started out at New Britain High School, 380 students without physicals. We are down to 15, and you can read the details on that. Um, Pulaski, Slade, and overall the middle and elementary. So, and, and really that's been a, a really good team effort between Joe Vavracek, his department, our Family Resource Center and their department, making phone calls, visiting homes, um, to make sure that the families know. Um, I know there's 13 physicals already scheduled for some of our high school kids, so we've been helping the parents along with that. So that's really uh, nice that that's gone so quickly, down to almost nothing. Um, just two things in town, although there's a ton of work that's been happening with Mr. Foran, uh, Dr. Sanders and Ms. Putnam around um, setting our administrators up for success in the buildings and, and um, um, calibrated walkthroughs with the staff. So those are all, we're working on schedules now for that. 
Um, but this afternoon we hosted, uh, along with CCSU, a first student teacher orientation for all student teachers. Um, Ms. Feligno and Mr. Ruiz are also helping Ms. Putnam out with this. And it was basically their first introduction. This is before they get to be a student teacher. It's, I can't remember the level of course it is. But it's just introducing them to the world of teaching. Another exciting um, uh, development for us with St. Joseph's University is um, special education student teacher placements this year, which is nice because we know that that's a shortage area. Um, and so that's Ms. Putnam and Dr. Tucker reaching out, and so um, we're excited about that. I'm gonna go back to, uh, we had student convocation last Thursday and Friday. Um, Mr. Foran reached out to Peter Roby, who was a, he is a New Britain resident, was a former New Britain resident, his mom still lives here. Um, and he spoke to the kids in grades six through eight, three through five, we didn't have a guest speaker, I was it. And uh, I said, so they quoted me in the Hartford Current, I think it was like, don't sleep through middle school. And I'm like, I said a whole lot more than that. But, <laughs> but it was basically to the, just to talk about, uh, don't let social media consume you. And it was all about, um, just having fun with it in moderation and doing those things, but not to, uh, and so I, they were well received, I think. Um, we saw 2,400 students in two days. Uh, we do it for grades three through eight, so that was successful. Um, I gave you a STEAM update. I don't, need to, I don't need you to read through all of it, but it's important. I'll say a couple of, um, 23 of our STEAM teachers for our elementary and middle completed a three-day training with the Connecticut Science Center. Um, everything that we're doing now all comes from our grant dollars. And you know with our school improvement grants as well as our um, um, commissioner's network that the state is very strict about not using those funds for salaries. They are strictly for professional learning and instructional supplies. And it's all about sustainability and they understand that if we pay someone out of that for three years and once it goes away, and it's a constant thing that we've talked about. So a lot of the trainings that you see all comes from our grant dollars. It's not from local funds. Um, and, and that's true with our culinary. That's being um, the, the, the infrastructure itself was paid for by local, but all of the materials and supplies that are needed for it are paid out of our um, grant dollars. So that's going well. We are partnering with the State Department of Education this year. We reached out to them. They asked what we need in terms of technical support, and we want, alongside improving practices in the classroom, we want to make sure that the curriculum we have in place is solid, our curriculum, our, and that includes the assessments that we have and the actual instruction, uh, the actual um, content that we have. So the state is working with Ms. Anderson and Ms. Bulky um, as far as literacy and numeracy this year. Um, and I just gave you, this was an email that I received from, it's under partnership, um, from Lauren Crowley, who is a social worker in our district, and she gave the history of the therapy dogs in, in New Britain. And uh, I just, I think it's interesting to see just the, um, the, the how much this has caught on and now we, we have several new additions to our team. And, um, and that's about it, I think. I gave you the transportation talent. And uh, we're still working hard at making sure that the, and we're not there yet, um, that the schedules are okay at New Britain High School, that we have students placed, it's a work in progress. And it is every year, but we are paying close attention. And uh, thank you, Ms. Sims, for your email too, because we're, we're looking into that as well. And we'll be working with Mr. Foran and Mr. Pierce. And I think that's it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Next, we'll move to board reports. Do you have anything to report? I do not. Not even the football game? Well, I was just going to say, that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, no, that was amazing. The last two. The sports, I was just going to say, let's see. Girls volleyball yep. won this weekend. Boys football won on Friday. It's a good weekend for and sports, soccer. I think. Soccer. And, and soccer, soccer too. Oh, and soccer, they soccer won as well. They nailed it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Um, just, I was at Lincoln's open house and I'm um, a liaison, but my son's also a student there. And one thing that they did that I thought a lot of parents who I saw go through was well received. They had their room that they're going to use for STEAM set up and they were actually doing sort of uh, modification off the minute to win it type of mm -hmm. structural challenges. And the parents who I saw go through that really enjoyed it mm -hmm. doing with the students. It was very engaging. So I'm hoping if, mm -hmm. if 
parents can enjoy it and enjoy it with their kids together, that it'll be something that our students will enjoy as well. So it's good to see them. And they seem very excited about some of the possibilities and what they're going to be doing. And that may be a, like a stronger vehicle to have our families in, too, when we yeah. talk about that engaging piece. That's something that they can connect with. And yeah. <clears throat> I just, um, my fundraiser um, in memory of my son Ben was held last Thursday on what would have been his 28th birthday. Mm -hmm. um, it was well attended. We raised about $8,000 for the wow. band and everybody had a good time, I think. So it was, so, you know, like it, was, it was fun to see, you know, generations of students. That's always the best part of those, yeah. you know, see generations of students come back. But thank you all who did come. Mm -hmm. Sorry if you didn't win a raffle prize. I, I didn't. didn't. No, I was waiting. I have stopped waiting. <laughs> You had a lot of raffle prizes. I did, and actually our, our P.S. to Resistance was um, Katie Mercier designed oh, yeah. and cross-stitched awesome. um, awesome. a piece that was the 50-yard um, line in New Britain High. It was fabulous. And um, she was hoping that it would go for $100, $1,000. Wow. No way. No way. Oh, it was, it was awesome. awesome. There you go. Yeah, it was awesome. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. Now she's thinking of what she's going to do next year because she can't mm -hmm. dilute You don't know if she could top that. No, I know. No. 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 <laughs> she probably could. She could. Yeah, maybe. maybe. Okay. But it was, it was beautiful. And unfortunately, we, you know, it, we can't have her make them for us because it will dilute the value of that one, that one piece. <laughs> Damn it. I <laughs> should have taken real high resolution pictures before, before I. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. I attended the um, De Loretto Open House, uh, and I am also the liaison, but I am also a parent there. Um, and I, too, saw some STEAM um, activities that were so cool to see the kids. You know, they were building this huge pyramid out of cups, right? Yep. Um, and then they had some different stick activities, but it was nice to see the, the parents were watching their kids intently, trying to figure out whether they would be able to do it or not. And then the parents were getting so nervous that it was going to tip over. So they're like, be careful, be careful, be careful. And the kids are like, I got this. This is great. I mean, they were stacking it up. I mean, it was the tower. It was towering. I definitely do not have a steady hand, and I would not have been able to do it. But it was nice to see. Um, and it was a very good turnout. There, uh, there was no parking, so that's always a good sign that people people are there and people are interested in what's going on at the school. Um, and the students knew knew what was expected of them, which was nice. They knew where to go, and they're directing. You could see them directing their parents and come to my classroom. And um, it was really it was really nice. So I enjoyed that. I also went to the game on Friday, and that was that was great to see. And I I love the band. Mm -hmm. I, I do. Really I don't know. Band. I just. I'm, I don't really know. I'm partial to football. <laughs> you, don't, you don't know football. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was nice. Um, and then I have been getting some pretty good feedback about the um, the buses as of late. Mm -hmm. That they have been happy to. They haven't had very um, many hiccups, and the kids are on the bus, and yep. smooth transition for them. Um, and parents were very grateful for the last. Um, the last of the half days that the after school care problem was resolved, they right. were very thankful for that. Um, so we did get some kudos for that and some shout outs about that. So okay. uh, we'll take we yes, we'll take any when we can. Mm -hmm. uh, next is the consent agenda. Please <clears throat> peruse and let me know if there's anything you would like to take off. Seeing none. On to new business. Uh, we have the first is to approve purchases from the 1003 grant. The academics to approve the purchase order for engaging schools. None of these have subcommittee reviews. Okay. All right. Mr. Floor. Oh, no, yes. Second. I was, uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, for those that were at curriculum committee, uh, 
please chime in on, on this because the curriculum <coughs> committee did get a pretty comprehensive uh, um, uh, discussion and presentation from the engaging schools people. Um, engaging schools has, has been with us uh, through the high school uh, commissioner's network process and, and this year as we become more focused on MVU and, and our, our focus is becoming more um, laser light pointed we are engaging with, with engaging schools to help us uh, develop MBU, to help us develop our leadership within the district, to lead MBU in the future. They are, they are partners, they are working with us and have provided us with resources that are also tailoring their work to our needs and, and, um, and again, working with us, not selling us, us their products. They are here often. They have been in the high school, like I said, uh, last year and, and significant time this summer. Uh, and so we are now engaging them to work with the middle schools and the elementary schools. Uh, they're they're going to be here tomorrow working with the high school during the day and meeting with uh, middle school administration in the evening. And, and the elementary coaches are also going to be brought in so that, so that we can maximize the effectiveness of MBU, as you know, MBU is new and it's going to drive our professional learning and drive the improvement in teaching and learning that that the redesign is is going to bring us. So that's an overview of, of the partnership. There's the grant cycle ends September 30th, so the first part of this um, needs to be approved and, and I believe our letters were, and, uh, Trish can touch me more of this, our letters were late arriving we didn't get our, our, our funds from the state until the end of august so so there's a little bit of a push to the first part of this cycle and then the, the second part which i believe is in your packet is the the 2018-19 contracts with engaging schools which will continue throughout this year again around the leadership development uh, to support mbu into the future with our within our district and, and also the structure of mbu working with our staffs, uh, middle and high school, and, and those elementary schools that, that qualify for the grant funding, the structure of the unit, and support the teachers during that process as well. Questions? Okay. I'll, I'll just add that they, they went into a very detailed, in curriculum, they went into a very detailed uh, breakdown of sort of the different areas that are covered and all that's centered around really focused professional development to improve the capacity of our teachers um, and hopefully really move that needle forward and we also asked about uh, going forward how to build sustainability within our own district and you know so that we don't end up in that same cycle of always going outside mm -hmm. and they are able to address specifics as far as like how they build that in you know so it actually becomes a cultural shift so uh, just they gave a, a, a they, they were able to answer the questions that uh, that I had for mm -hmm. curriculum Any other thoughts? Uh, just, just a quick question so you'll have to come back for a quarter two through four mm -hmm. for yeah, each time each time you come through each yeah. okay we wanted it to show it to you though all comprehensively but this is just because of the september 30 deadline we can and so but we wanted you to see going forward what it's going to be as one big unit discipline discipline services mm -hmm. all those in favor signify by saying aye aye, aye. aye. those opposed Okay. Um, we are going to skip down to the uh, to D, and we're going. I need a motion to go to executive session. For that. Uh, motion to go into executive sec uh, session regarding a. He's uh, He's here. Legal, yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Resulting a legal matter of Jane Doe uh, versus the city of New Britain at all. Second. Um, invited into this meeting would be um, Attorney Skelly and Ms. Sarah. And Janice Gregamals. Janice Gregamals and Ms. 
Um, I think that's it. That's she, she was the one. Is the next one also? Yeah. Do we have? Is e so Kevin can cover that one too. Okay. Can we cover E in this yes. too? While we're yes. Yes. D and E. So Kevin will come for for the second matter. Yes. Second uh -huh. matter. So. Okay. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed. We are in executive session. We are now back in, and we are at 4A, B. Um, academics approve purchase order for STEAM textbooks. Um, can I motion to approve uh, both items, 4A, B, and 4A, C together? Uh, it's the purchase order for STEAM textbook, textbooks, <clears throat> and also for the bid waiver and purchase order for the equipment for, and supplies to fit the culinary arts and CTE rooms at Pulaski and Slade. Second. Okay. Discussion? Uh, Superintendent, oh, go ahead. I was just gonna say, um, definitely in favor of getting getting supplies in for the STEAM classrooms. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'm also glad to see that a lot of it is, well, it says, you know, textbooks, it is a lot of individual books right. about STEAM related things. It's right. not, a, big a textbook book. in the way that we normally think of it, but it's... No, it's a good... I do go through the list quite a bit, and I have been researching a lot of STEAM books because the library, the public library, has been buying to support the uh, curriculum. Mm -hmm. um, I, we often are forgotten as a community partner, but, you know, we're a huge one. Uh, so we've been doing a lot... I've, we've been looking at a lot of these books, and there was a good... A mountain, and I do like the fact that in the schools, a lot of them are being bought as digital books, so they can be used multi on multiple platforms because you can't afford 20 copies of, right, of right. one book all the time. So right. it was it was a good list, and it jibes with what I've been looking at a lot of contemporary, current books as well. So I would say yes, Gail. I just have one question: Why are we just ordering them now, like the third week of school? And I'm, I'm going to say that it's, 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 it's great money. money. It's great money. We, we won't okay. spend until we get the money. Oh, okay. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. We appreciate that. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I couldn't pull up the big fast enough. No, I couldn't pull up. Yeah. No. Any other comments? Okay. I'm, I'm glad to see the culinary arts and that kind of thing coming yeah. back. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's yes. pretty yes. big. Yes. That, like the when, home ex. When did it go away? Before in New Britain, I don't remember. I, I, I'm not okay. a, I mean, I wasn't in middle school, but I want to say minimally, big. when? Computers became big? Uh, yeah, yeah. With I was going to say maybe breath. 10 years, yeah. 12. I was going to say probably 10, 12. No child oh. left behind, kind right. of decimated. Right, probably like 10, because I remember teachers mm -hmm. from the middle school getting displaced and having to come up right. to the high yeah. school because um, those jobs and positions were yeah, eliminated. Now we're able so to go for dual cert, mm. right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And now it's like a shortage area. No, it's got to be more than 10 because I've it's been in my position now 10 years. Yeah. Didn't have they it. They were already moved right. yeah. up, yeah. so I'm guessing it's 12. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah. yeah. Something yeah. down yeah. there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. okay. okay. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed. Excellent. Okay. Next is for B, approve the bid waiver for two confection ovens at Roosevelt Early Learning Center. Um, motion to approve bid waiver for the two ovens. Second. Second. And this funding source is the cafeteria fund? They are for the cafeteria themselves. Right. Is that right. something so it's through the cafeteria. Right. Teaching, this right. is actually eating. Right. I it's thought like, it was. It's feeding, feeding, no, feeding the children. Right. Feeding the children. Right. Right. Feeding children, do that. not teaching them how to cook. I would like Correct. to go on record as being in favor of feeding children. Yes. yes. All, right. All right. I would second that. Oh, good. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? <laughs> Motion to approve for the grant in the amount of $20,000 from the Community Foundation of Greater New Britain for support of summer learning experience programs. Second. Second. That's fast reading. Thank you, sir. That's awesome sauce. Discussion. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Yes. Thank, you. thank you. Every little bit helps, and that is certainly a nice chunk of change. Um, all those in favor of signify by saying aye. Oh, aye. aye. <laughs> those opposed? I'm sorry, we can't take your check. <laughs> we cannot take your money. We apologize. Right. Okay. I have one item to add to the agenda. Can I have a motion to add this one? Motion to approve the grant in the amount of 
Motion to add an item uh, to the agenda, and that's approving uh, a personnel transaction. It's the hiring of um, murder the last name. Maria Mangiarelli. 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 That looks right. As the as the uh, <laughs> district supervisor of special education at New Bryn High School. Motion to add that to the agenda. Second. All those in favor of signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed. Okay. Now a motion to motion to approve the hiring of. Insert name. <laughs> Maria <laughs> Mangiarelli as, as the district supervisor of special education. Yeah, Mr. Spalding would like to say Yes. Okay. I need a second. Second. Thank you. Mr. Spalding? Good evening. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Just start talking. Just, right. just fine. So I want to introduce uh, Maria Mandrelli to you. Uh, Maria comes from Enfield. Um, she has, if you, I'm sure you have the information in front of you. Uh, she did an internship, a leadership internship for over a year. So she was involved in as assistant uh, director for people services, curriculum instruction. Um, she has been a school psychologist for the last 14 years, 12 in that district. Why uh, that makes her unique and really uh, appropriate for this position. Um, as you know, uh, the superintendent and yourselves had one of our goals for our district is to, let's say, um, um, cut down on the number of suspensions in our district, expulsions, um, improve school attendance. Someone with Maria's background is, is, um, is unique and appropriate for that. Um, the high school has over uh, 500 students with special needs. That's larger than most, uh, probably a third of the districts in the uh, in the state. So someone with her qualifications are highly appropriate. So I, 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 we're very excited to have her on board, um, bring her on board. I think she's going to do a fantastic job. She's highly organized. She's excited to get into the position. And um, it, I'm hoping she can come up and maybe um, speak to her qualifications or something. Hi. So I know it's a difficult last name. It's Mangiarelli. Mangiarelli. <laughs> a lot of vowels there. Um, but yes. So um, yeah, I'm so excited to come on to um, to New Britain. Um, you know, I've just watched over the years that New Britain has been a leader in things that me as, as a school psychologist have been. Uh, it's been a passion of mine with your social emotional learning curriculum. Um, I've been to professional developments where your leadership team has been phenomenal at that. So, um, and I bring a wealth of experience to um, the high school level. I've done for the past 12 years at Enfield High School. I've been at the high school the whole time. So, um, you know, I have a lot of experience about kids in that developmental stage, um, and uh, specifically kids with special needs. So. No. no. We're happy to have you. <laughs> Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All those. Well, oh, we have oh, 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 oh. Oh. Yeah. One second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Those no, opposed. Questions. All right. Okay. Please come <laughs> forward and accept the congratulations on the board. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Congratulations. Thank you. Welcome. Congratulations and good luck. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Um, do you want to ask first and then if I can? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. 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 So yes. we'll, we'll, we'll yes. call you in. We'll call, we'll you, call in. you in. Yeah. We'll call you in. We'll right. summon you. We can summon you. Um, but you have a second. All those second. in favor, say in private. Say in private, saying aye. Aye. Those opposed. We are now in executive session. <laughs>